So in this particular series, we're doing SDG 12, sustainable consumption and production. And in all- You can see that the trend has been a decreasing trend, all right? Um, and uh, for precipitation here, and then for precipitation, for temperature, where you have the yellow, um, more yellow and, 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 and red colors, and, and uh, that's where you had uh, temp the, tr the, the trend in temperature has increased over time. And now when it does rain, um, when it does rain, when you do get rain, you know, remember the general trend is that there's been a decline, right? Uh, but when you do get rains, those rains tend to be really um, 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 flood-causing type rains, very intense rains. Um, so, so the extreme events have, have, have increased as well. Um, and the total value of loss was about almost $17 billion um, at, that, at that point. So, so that's the, you know, the, the, the natural environment, the, the, the ecosystems that we depend on, they're under stress, you know. To, to my friend's point, and that's to my friend's point. So, so science, you know, actually does um, um, uh, support the fact that the, 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 the resources that we depend on, the, you know, it's under, it's under stress. When governments, governments have a key role to play here. And, and, and part of the role is that you, we need to put, you know, what, what I will call climate resilient agricultural policies in place. We need to look at the value chain, the agricultural value chain, and look at how do we reduce waste. So the World Bank tagged with Nigeria um, to develop what, what was called the agricultural resilience framework. And, and, and they